Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Coromon demo. We are on level three which introduces the conveyor belt and a very pacey kind of guy here. Let's see what Coromon he has to fight against. Are you heading for the Titan? Good luck getting past our security measures. We Fern, we are fighting against Fern and he has two, which might be a little bit of a trouble, but let's see what our patter, pitter bite can do here. I'm not too worried about the electricness, electricity of, well, maybe I should be. That hit a lot harder than what I expected it to do, but we should be able to get another, at least one other propeller punch in here, and then we might have to switch over to, I would switch over to a Mawful probably. What is Taser? Okay, I got shocked, which means that I have a chance to be shocked during my attack and where it will not go off but it looks like we have him down here we got him knocked down that's going to be really good and then a slam here should end it but he did oh he electrified himself which may be oh i'm shocked and couldn't move there we go that is not going to be good but let's see what this slam he does lightning strike again which hurts but i think we oh, shocked and couldn't move. Yeah, we're going to have to switch out here. This shock effect is causing us a little bit of problem. Now, there is just a random chance here. So hopefully we can get out of this. I really don't want to switch out if I can keep from it. But this lightning strike is hitting pretty hard here. And if I don't get there, we go. As I'll say, if I don't get that one, I'm definitely going to have to switch out but I was wanting that 900 experience so that we can get him up to a level 18 that's what I was hoping for if we split that up then we're in a little bit of a trouble so let's go ahead and switch out our squad member now I don't know who's going to be good against the oddity I don't know if there is a attack type that is very effective against him so we're gonna have to try to do our best that was a heavy hit the quad volt is not too shabby but still not great but the shockness of it is going to help out a little bit considering that does have him a chance of not attacking just like we did in the last battle. Here he goes. That's going to really help us out. One more quad volt should do it. Yeah, there we go. Wasn't too worried there, but still a little iffy on some of these. I don't like playing against Oddigy, but we can't disable the security measures, even if we wanted to, but you seem like you might have a chance to make it. Yeah, Oddity is not one I enjoy playing against, but then again, it's one of the ones that I really do want to try out and see if we can get something that is really powerful for him. So we're going to switch up these two. You know what? I want my... Imbavla up there semi close so that we can have it doesn't really matter the order once you get the choice to switch Cormon you can switch it to anyone it does matter however for the first one because the first one the one in that lead position is the one that always goes first most scientists here have Cormon to assist in their research they can also be used to battle Okay, Clarabelle, let's see what you got. Now there is three, so we might be a little bit lucky here and there be a little bit lower, a little bit lower, but not a, a large amount. Let's see if we can get some of these boulder barrages. That took off 15. 
oh great he was knocked down so that's going to even make it a little bit easier on us here Digmaw is just handing out the punishment here which is great let's go ahead and drop down to i'm not sure scratch will be able to do enough let's try sandball again we want to try to conserve that sp if we can he's level 19 i also don't know if the cormon i don't think it's something in the demo but i really would like to see if the cormon evolves once or twice so once the full game is released i would be very interested in to see how that works out Border Barrage is definitely doing the damage for us here, although that Aurora is doing quite a bit. Oh, I'm frozen solid. That's not good. I think the best thing we could do here is just go ahead and switch out to my Mbavla, which is going to be very effective against the snow type of the aura or cold type i'm not sure which what's the exact terminology they use whether it's snow or cold or ice or whatever so the frost chomp doesn't do a lot and i wonder also that frost chomp had a option to freeze which it was able to freeze on my dig maw but i wonder if when it's against the imbavel 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 that's how i think you pronounce it i wonder if it has that chance to freeze still because it's it's a fire type and i don't know if that ice type has the same abilities what i do like about the imbavel and something that you've got to kind of realize when you're doing some of these is that even though he is a fire type here you can see he has a rock attack which is kind of interesting because he's kind of like a volcano so it makes sense that he has this fire attack and the rock attack so it's very interesting some of them obviously are a certain type but they might have different typed attacks as well so watch what the attacks do and that's going to help you as you go through the battles as well so we defeated clarabelle my Coromon are a lot better at science though and the reason why i went ahead and took care of clarabelle is once you go through this level you come back up through this way and that's how you get out back out through three and i didn't want to get surprised by her if we had to go back to the city back to the donor island and get healed up i guess we're on donor island so we're not really going back to it but go back and get healed so let's there and we just got to follow the conveyor belts and make sure we know where we're going don't even get on that one how do we get then we want to go yeah let's go and grab this here i don't think we'll be able to but i want to see if we can get around this trainer here yeah to grab that just to make sure a uh, doria fruit i'm not sure what that one does i am am a little curious removes burn immediately i wonder if we have a frost cake detox and ground and that's it i don't think we have burned hazy poisoned asleep and danger okay so we don't even have one that takes care of freeze at all we can skip that trainer if we wanted to and i think i'm going to i want to see if we can get some of this stuff here we got a couple of bear fruits which are very useful 
I kind of want to see if we can get around. Actually, we can get around to the outside right that way if we wanted to. But we do need to get to the exit. Where's the floor four? I'm not sure where the floor four door is. Is it over this way? I believe it is. There we go. That's going to take us up to four if we wanted to now we do have a couple of battles still left to do so i'm going to go around and go ahead and do those i was kind of seeing what we still had around we have two more battles we should be able to take these two out we'll have to see we might have to heal some of our cormon up we'll help protect the titan by installing security measures if they fail, we can take over. So depending on what's coming out at me, I need to heal up, but I'm not too worried about that. We have three, four, floor four and floor five to go, and we still have a plenty of money and plenty of revives and healing cakes and everything to be able to come back. So I'm not too extremely worried about getting knocked out or any of the things that we might typically worry about let's go ahead and throw our guild wing in there we do not want our bezel to be knocked out let's see he's got a chomp on us and we should just be able to go ahead and do this fast strike and not be too worried about that we are almost up to level 19 for everything i think our guild wing is the last thing here that is going to need to level up there we go let's blow him away boulder barrage might hurt a bit i gotta say that's going to hurt but wow we took off a lot on that now can we survive another boulder barrage that's going to be the tricky thing and we did I probably should not have risked that because if it was a critical hit, it would have definitely knocked out my guild wing. And we could have been in very much trouble there. So everybody's up to level 19 and he's got to some of his potential. So again, attack and speed here on our guild wing. Oh, wow, he went up a lot there. Wow. I guess my security measures are more effective than I am. Oh, they, yeah, that's true. <laughs> we, that was not a horribly bad battle here. I do not know what this guy has. So I'm a little worried. If I knew what he had, I would be more prepared with certain Cormon ready. I think the best thing I'm going to do here is go ahead and grab one of these combi cakes. That would actually work out really well. Maybe not. I've got a whole lot of everything. I do. I really do have a whole lot of everything. And I'm not sure the best way to do this. I'm going to do it this way because they're more effective that way. I kind of wasted that SP cake a little bit because it restores 20 and I only had like 10 open. So it was a little bit of a waste, but I kind of wanted him up and ready and prepared. I'm not sure who we're going to switch to when the time comes, but let's see what Bradley has. He only has one, but he's going to be tough here. What level is he? I bet he's 20. I was going to say, I bet he's 20. Let's do a... I don't know if these wins do a whole lot of damage against him. It only did 10. Ooh, that's going to hurt. I'm curious if the fast strike is going to do more. No, that is going to really, really hurt here. Oh, almost completely knocked him out that is going to be a bit of a trouble here 
How much health does he have? He has 51. Let's go ahead and do this, I guess. Kind of set me up for a little bit of a trouble here. Use the slam, which is still devastating, to be honest. I'm hoping that this wind blast is going to be, it's still only doing 10. That's going to knock him out. Um, I'm not sure if I wanted to switch who I'd switch it for. Everybody's hurt pretty badly, to be honest. I don't want him to get the feelers going. And that's kind of where I am at right now is I don't want those feelers to be doing what I don't want them to do. Oh, not squad. Let's do items. Yeah, we're almost behind the curve here, really, because of... We have the lamprey out. Let's do that. Behind the eight ball because we're defending ourselves more than attacking. So he's hitting us really hard. We're not having a chance to attack back. We're healing. He's hitting our, us really hard. We're healing and it's not giving us a whole lot of time to hit here. And I can't, I wonder if I could use an item when knocked down and I'm not sure that's going to be enough to keep him up if I get hit really hard. That is he going to do more than 30 damage here? <sighs> See, that's going to be a problem. I don't know if I can out. Uh, let's see that's I wonder if yes that's only going to give me 29 which is less than what I had last time I'm not healing up enough here and I'm hoping that he does that that's what I was waiting for there this is actually quite a difficult oh I'm recovering from what uh, let's just try it if he gets knocked out we'll go to somebody else Boom. Yeah, that's definitely going to knock the lamprey out here. I had to get a hit on him. That's all there was to it. I really just had to get a hit on him. It's a battle that I really don't want to fight. You're you're really in a pickle if you're always healing here. I got knocked down. Uh, let's try again another heal cake for my guild wing. Let's see if we can Come up from this I'm hoping that we'll be able to get a couple hits in here. This is definitely the hardest battle so far And a couple more hits should be able to knock him out, but Everybody's going to get a little bit of experience here. I feel that has been the hardest battle so far. He's got a ton of XP for it, too. Guildwing got XP and Lamprey got everybody got. I will say everybody's going to go up at probably a little bit here. Lamprey. Okay, let's do that on Lamprey. Oh, Lamprey's all the way up to 20. Ooh, wow. I'm not used to trainers coming here. Not many people go to the Titan. Well, Piterbit got rid of his shock. That's good. Let's see if we can get out of here. I know we can. We just got to go up this way and then head back towards... We really don't... Well, I guess we can... Everybody's taken care of, so we can run back i'm gonna go ahead and use my not my phoenix shard we are going to use where is it my lux recall to get all the way back to the lux solus campus and i want to see what the shop here has let's go get healed up first that probably would be a better idea here 
we could have done a lot better on the level 20 there if we had more that was healed up the problem there was that several of our Coromon were already hurt which is naturally going to make it more difficult because you don't have people to switch to it, that's the issue if I had one that was completely full of health I would have more easily been able to switch to that one we also might want to look at healing them up after a battle so that we can the regular the small hp cakes are going to do okay outside of a battle but inside of a battle they're not going to do anything for me because i'm getting 20 points of damage each time i get hit anyway so i'm going to have to do the medium hp cakes to overcome the damage that i'm getting so i think when i get hit since considering i have 11 of these 10 of these and eight combi cakes. I think what we're going to do is try to, after one battle, go in and do, you know, a healing after the battle so that we can use some of those other items there without wasting them, so to speak. So we have 9,000 gold, a 50 percent coupon so let's see what we need here i wouldn't defense okay these really don't help me out ice cake i wouldn't mind having a cake for a one of each cake i definitely have a detox that would help me out if Like after the battle, I would feed that. So we got spinners. We don't need any spinners. So we want to have a Lux Recall. Probably a couple more of these. I don't think, I know fourth level is not going to give us any trouble, but fifth level might give us a little bit of trouble. So let's buy two of those. You know what? Let's go ahead and buy another one because... We got that 50% coupon here, and I wanna make sure that we make good use of this. So we wanna do, let's do, we got two of those, let's get, well, we have to be careful. We're we gonna end up with no money here. Let's do, I mean, we have three of those, buy that. I don't really need any combi cats. I don't really need any of those cakes there. I don't have any of these. Let's buy one of each of these so that we have at least one of every of these cakes so that we can get rid of something that a status effect if we come to it. Okay, so we got all those. I'm not sure what else we can do. I think that is good. We won't need any more spinners really so there we are well, i would like to use my 50 percent coupon so we got a lot of stuff basically yeah we spent 5900 and we got 2950 back so yeah i think that's okay <laughs> but we still have a 25 percent coupon too so if we need more stuff, we can definitely use it. We're pretty set up for the rest of the power tower, I believe. And with my Digmaws 19, let's check out my abilities really quickly. Just kind of going through this, the, yeah, none of those are gonna be helpful against the titan which is an electro type the dig maw is all scratch sand ball and boulder barrage will all three help me also the claw i believe has is a cut type so if i have to i could switch over to the guild wing so the guild wing and my dig maw will probably be the two that are fighting the titan 
lamprey also have a scratch so we want to make sure those three are healed up when we go in to fight the titan these three bottom ones have to be fully healed and fully sp'd i guess <laughs> uh their spell points all filled up as well where am i doing what am i what? i don't know what i'm doing okay so jump over back here to donor island and we are ready for level four here and we're going to do level four in the next episode we are set for level five as well so we'll do a level four and level five in the next few episodes and then to fight the titan thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next episode bye everybody